What is up everyone, Patrick here, and today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a portfolio website. Now, if you're someone that does freelance work or is in the creative field or just has art or some other projects that you would like to show off, this can range from a graphic designer all the way through to a web developer, someone who programs backend websites. A portfolio website gives you a chance to lay out all of the work that you've done and show examples of the expertise that you've earned through work that you've completed. This is an absolutely required step if you're looking to start a freelance career, especially within the digital space. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to build your own. Now the platform I'll be using is called Wix.com. Now Wix is an online website building platform that gives you the creative freedom to select from thousands of different templates and use their intuitive editor to drag and drop to create custom websites that fit the exact image you're trying to convey. And so you can take a template that Wix provides you and quickly run with it to create a custom professional portfolio site. Now I'm going to drop a link down in the description so you can use that to head over to Wix.com and follow along with me today while I show you step-by-step -step how to create a portfolio website. All right, so let's get started. You'll wanna locate the Wix.com homepage, just simply typing Wix.com or using my link I included down in the description below will take you to the homepage if you're not already signed in. And if you don't have an account, you can create one here by clicking get started or the sign in button. Now, since I already have an account, I will log in like normal by just inputting my email and password and hitting log in. But if you're new to Wix and creating a brand new account for the first time, you'll hit the sign up button. And from here, enter an email and a password, then confirm that password before clicking the sign up button. So let me log in with my credentials real quick. And now that I'm ready, I'll hit log in and this will take me to my site's home. So this is a list of all of my sites I have through my Wix account. Of course, if you're creating an account, you will not have this window when you first open it up. In fact, you'll be greeted by the create a site page, which is what we're going to do right now. So after logging in, just hit create a new site at the top and it will take you over here to where you can choose what kind of website you're going to build. Now, of course, I already said we'll be building a portfolio site and a little more specifically, I'll be making a video portfolio site since I am a video editor and producer. This is already something I'm used to doing, but it might be different for you depending on the industry you're in. Like I said before, you can build a website for a web designer, illustrator, animator, video editor. It really could be any kind of profession as long as you have some sort of work that you're trying to highlight. Remember, a portfolio is good for project-based work and not necessarily a work history. That's more for a resume, which I'll get into in another video. So we'll click portfolio and CV. And from here, we'll choose a template. We'll click the choose a template button, which will give us a full list of portfolio and CV based templates to choose from. Now you can scroll down and look at any of these and there's multiple pages to choose from. Hovering over any, you can see a view and edit button. Clicking the edit button just simply grabs the whole template and throws it into the Wix editor for you right away. While clicking on the view button will open up that page in a separate window so you can get a little more of a hands-on approach with the template before first editing it. Now I'm seeing a lot of these are more for personal blogs or Illustrator or CV. In fact, I want something that's more specifically a video portfolio, so I'll search exactly that. Just typing that in the search bar and it will pop up with all of the appropriate results for me. And honestly, this first one caught my eye right away. We'll go ahead and click view to pop this into a new window and get a little more of a look at it. And I'm digging this landing page nice and simple. It'll have my name right here, what I do, and then a video that highlights probably a showreel video where I cut together multiple clips just highlighting my style. Of course, there are four other pages that you can check out. The showreel, which is always important for a portfolio. If you're a photographer, illustrator, animator, it might not be a showreel, but instead a gallery page, but the premise is the same. You'll post multiple projects on here for potential clients or anybody viewing your portfolio to just check out. And I'm a fan of this. You've got three videos to choose from to start. Of course, I can change that however I want. If I wanna post 50 videos, I can, but I recommend keeping it short and sweet. The fewer, the better, but make sure that the ones you choose have the biggest impact. You want your most impressive stuff out there first. 
I'll click on the about page, check this out, and just a little breakdown of my bio, nice. And then the contact page, perhaps the second most important page on a portfolio website is the contact page. You've got the gallery or the showreel page to show off your work, but if you've impressed somebody and they wanna reach out to you for potential work, they have no means of doing that if you don't include a contact page or at the very least an email or phone number to reach you at, which you can see on this template that they've included both a phone number and an email but then you've got a nice clean contact form over here which Wix actually provides for you and makes it really intuitive to grab and start setting up so I'm a huge fan of that and then the blog now the blog is not a requirement for a portfolio site and in fact I have a video on how to create a blog using Wix and I'll include a link down in the description to that video for you but a blog gives you a chance as a professional or an expert to show off your expertise to help establish yourself as an authority in that field. Because a potential client can come to your website, see all the great work you've done, but then if you have a blog and they start reading through some of your articles and start realizing that you're able to actually talk the talk and walk the walk, they'll be that much more impressed. And it gives you another outlet to express your creativity if you'd like to. It doesn't necessarily have to be relevant directly to your work, but I highly recommend it. For example, since I'm a video producer, I would talk about different video editing techniques or perhaps video production tips and tricks that I've learned through the work that I've done. These could be helpful things, but keep in mind those are more for other people in your industry looking for help versus potential clients looking to get a project completed. And so I am a huge fan of this site. I'll go ahead and click on the mobile view just to get a look at what it would look like on mobile. I'm a fan of the hamburger menu and the side scrolling action on the show reel. So I'll go ahead and switch back to desktop mode and I'll hit edit this site. Now that will just simply grab the template that I've chosen, take it over to the Wix editor and convert it so I can start using the drag and drop editor with the elements on page. And now that we've loaded it up, here is the Wix editor, which if you're unfamiliar, a quick rundown of the Wix editor, you have your toolbar on the right side that you can grab at the top to move around. Now this is responsible for the formatting on your web page itself, something like the margins and the spacing for different elements on your page where the nav bar on the left is how you add content to your page, how you add different elements that you can interact with, images, videos, and things like that. So of course, my name is not Blake. I'm going to change this right away to just Patrick and we'll keep this as filmmaker, director, and then we'll add producer at the end of it. You can double click on anything to open it up and edit the text specifically or hit the edit text button and then you can work within that text box. So from here now I'll hit a space and say producer. And I'll keep it all caps so it matches the existing theming that's already there. Uh, I will go ahead and change this background since it's a little dark for my liking. I like uh, something that's a little more blue and pops, but then it starts to bury the text so it's a little too bright and maybe this is a good one. So open water. Now it's not necessarily relevant unless of course I was a video producer for action sports or something along those lines. But for this example, it'll work just fine. I do recommend grabbing a picture of your own if you can. Don't use stock imagery, especially for a portfolio because you wanna highlight your work. Now, of course, if you're not a photographer, if that's not your main goal, then don't worry about it as much. Just make sure the effort is put into the portfolio itself that your work is good enough to highlight first and then jump in and you can use Wix to create an awesome website to highlight all of this work. And so I'll come back to changing this video in just a moment. You can see hovering over it, it tells me it's a little Wix video in the top left corner but we're going to switch over to the about page so I can change the text on that one real quick. Just a personal tip is something that I like to do when rebranding a template, which is something you should always do with any template that you use, whether it's Wix or not, is always change it. You don't wanna leave the default text images or videos on it because that just looks unprofessional. It can end up looking like a myriad of other sites that are out there for people that just didn't change their template. And so to switch over to the about page, simply go up to the page tab up here, click on it and go down to about and click on that. And it will switch the Wix editor over to that page. So it's got filmmaker, director, and I just said producer in the other one, so let's change that. And then down here, I'm going to leave this text because this is just a video to show you how to create a portfolio site. And this is something that is more in the details. Like I just said, change out all of the text yourself, but just to keep this video more concise, I won't go into it right now. 
you can switch over to the contact page make sure that you swap out your email with the appropriate email and same with the phone number and then you've got the wix form now clicking on the form you'll see a few different buttons above it you can click on form settings to actually open up the settings for that form and go in and link that accordingly so from here you can see you've got your main where you can see the submission table this is just the content within the form itself and then you can click on the submit message button and this will show you what the form will tell the user after they hit the submit button and if you'd like you can link your email marketing so if you have an email campaign or newsletter you can link this directly to this so people can sign up for it through your contact form so i'm going to back out of that and we're going to switch over to the home page now i'm not going to dive into the blog because like i said i will include a link down below directly to my video of how to create your very first blog and you can actually take what you learn in that video and take what you learn in this video and combine them to add a blog to your portfolio site but again to keep this video concise i won't get into it now to change out the content i'll head over to the show reels page and from here you see all the videos that came already on the template clicking on this will allow me to manage videos and this will open up a full list of the videos that are associated with this wix site now by default there's obviously nothing here because it's all stock imagery and this is where you can actually upload videos and this is one of the benefits of having a premium wix account is you can have more upload space you'll be able to store more music videos and images directly on your wix account so you don't have to worry about losing them locally but in this instance for a quick post, I'm just going to add a YouTube URL, which is a super nice feature, especially if you're somebody that creates digital content that ends up getting posted online by a client and you don't necessarily have access to the raw video or the rights to post it yourself, but you can at least link directly to it. So I'm going to go ahead and link one of my previous Wix videos by just going over to it on YouTube, grabbing the URL and pasting it directly into here and you see just like that it already linked it you hit add video and it's now added that video to your collection of videos available through this wix site now i can go in and add more videos just like this hovering over the add videos button and then clicking on youtube because that's specifically where i'm grabbing it from and then i just grab that url and post it in here and hit add to library and now you can see my library consists of both of the videos i just linked and i didn't have to upload a single thing and from here, I will take a look at the channels tab. Now the channels tab is actually not like you would think a YouTube channel, but it allows you to group together a selection of videos. So if you have a specific theme for a group of videos and a specific theme for another group of videos, you can set them as different channels and then post entire channels to the web page itself. For example, those three videos you saw on the template page for the show reel were actually all considered part of the same channel. It was just one channel post and not three videos posted. And so I'll do the exact same thing with my new channel and I'll just click on this. And from here, you can choose what videos you wanna add by clicking on add videos. It will show you a list of all of the current videos associated with your Wix site and just hitting the plus button will then add that video to the channel and going in and doing it again. You can see it's pulled it off of the add videos list because it's already in there. So it doesn't wanna add a copy of an already existing one, which is a nice little feature that's not overlooked. And I've added both of them to it and I can save my changes. But before I do that, I'll click edit under channel info. And from here I can change the name of my channel and I'll just call it the best channel. And then from here, I can add an image or video that works as essentially the thumbnail, the main image or video for this channel. Now, I'm not going to do that right now. So I'll go ahead and hit save and that will save my new channel, the best channel. And now that I've saved those changes to channel info, I need to save the changes to the channel in general and just save the channel to my entire list of channels. So clicking on channels again will now show me my entire list. I have all videos, which is by default already there. That's just all of the existing videos for the site. And then I've got the best channel, the channel I just created. Now, if we want to add that to the site, we'll close that out and you can see it's already updated. Now, however, this is a channel for all of my videos and I specifically want, let's say I wanted one video. I'd click on that settings button and then select one video, simple as that. And then from here, I just choose which video I want it to be. But you can quickly see what the allure of having a channel posted is. is 
something that's flexible where if you just add the video to the channel well then it's automatically posted to your show reel page and so we'll go ahead and select all videos so we can have just all of our videos posted here and if you'd like to move the video around you can just grab it and drag it around that's one of the great things about wix it's that drag and drop editor and of course you would just scale this up so like i said if you're a photographer you would do a gallery instead or depending on whatever it is you can quickly change the wix site so it fits your needs now keep in mind again a portfolio site i highly recommend for project-based workflows and not necessarily those who have a traditional resume or cover letter and are just trying to show off work history. And so we can head back over to the home page and get a look at our video. Of course, like I said, we'll wanna make sure we change this. And since I just added those videos, let's go ahead and hit settings. And we'll change this out from this default template video to just one video and we'll leave it at how to build a professional website. So when you come to the web page, the landing page just greets you right away with how to build your professional website. Now, like I said, this is where you'd include some of your best work because you're trying to get the interest of the visitor immediately and then direct them to your show reel page and then your contact page now if the first video is good enough they might just skip the show reel and go right to the contact page but that's not a guarantee so make sure your show reel or gallery can back up your work and so whenever you're ready to actually post this live to the internet for clients to come check out you can go up to the top and hit publish now hitting publish will automatically save your work up until this point and post it under a random URL where you can click view site and this will open up the site in a brand new window and you can get a feel for what it would be like live on the internet because it is now live on the internet. You can click around and as you can see my formatting is a little off on this and that's part of the process. It's iterative. You want to make sure that you're going in and checking it and making the changes right away so you can actually make sure your website looks good. Of course, this was all just an example today to show you how to build a portfolio for yourself. And we'll switch back over to the Wix editor real quick. And now that we're back in the editor, you can see down here, you can connect your own branded domain name, which I would highly recommend. I have a video on how to get a professional domain name, which I'll include a link down in the description for you on that one as well. But keep in mind, because this is a professional portfolio, you want it to reflect that professionalism and a domain name goes a long way. So I won't get directly into how to get a domain for your website today, but I would highly recommend getting a custom professional domain name because it just helps carry your name a lot farther, especially if you're just a freelancer. Seeing a website that's branded under your name and has a custom domain and then going to it and seeing a professional portfolio is all reaffirming to a potential client as to why they should pick you over the competition. You now have a portfolio website of your very own. That is if you followed along with me. And if you didn't, well, that link is still down in the description for you to head over to wix.com and take the knowledge that you've gained from this video and create a professional portfolio website to show off your work to potential future clients. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video and go ahead and give it a like if you appreciated it yourself and subscribe to the channel for other helpful videos just like this one and hit that bell for notifications. So until next time, thanks for watching.